Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Uh, yeah, and today's one we're going to be talking uh, about a bit of a sombre subject, uh, but it's something that went viral uh, in the footballing world a few years ago now, but it's been hanging overheads uh, ever since, shall we say. Um, and that is, obviously, you can see by the thumbnail, the title over at a certain Marcus Alonso's uh, car crash a few years ago. So it's a well-known fact in the footballing world that certain players have been involved in rather sticky situations outside of the football pitch, but very rarely, you know, are players accused of something as sinister as manslaughter. Now, Patrick Cliver, Luke McCormick, um, McCormick rather, the former Plymouth goalkeeper, to name a few, uh, who've both been convicted and punished for their mistakes, but there's one who sticks out um, due to the fact that he seemingly got off very lightly, uh, and his name is Marcus Alonso. He's still to this day much on social media with car crash gags and stuff like that, but the majority know very little um, as to what went on on that all-important day in Madrid in 2011. So just to give you a bit more context around that situation and what's gone on since, uh, here's what happened. So the incident took place in 2011, and at the time, Marcus Alonso played for, for Bolton. Uh, he was back at home in Madrid, as they didn't have a game at the time, um, but he was driving through at the centre of Madrid, uh, but he was driving significantly high, higher than the speed limit in wet conditions, apparently 70 in a 30, uh, with a blood alcohol level allegedly, allegedly well above the, the legal limit at the time. Um, now, it's the following, just to give it more context as to what went on specifically, uh, the following is uh, a Guardian article, uh, an excerpt from that, just to give you obviously a rough estimate as to what went on at the, uh, at the time. The 20-year-old crashed a BMW into a stone wall in the centre of Madrid early on Monday morning following a night out with some friends in the Spanish capital. A 22-year-old woman was rushed to hospital with physical trauma but was pronounced dead just 30 minutes later. Another passenger is reported to be in a bad situation with a wounded abdomen, uh, while Alonso's brother Miguel and his former Real Madrid teammate Jami Navarro, uh, Navarro we should say, uh, were also hurt in the accident. A statement from the the court in Madrid say preliminary investigations report that yesterday Marcus Alonso uh, was suspected to have committed an alleged crime against road safety while over the alcohol limit, uh, a crime of negligent homicide uh, and causing a reckless injury. In addition, the judge has imposed precautionary measures to withdraw his driving license and impose a driving ban throughout the national territory for that the, uh, blah, 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 the duration of the uh, the investigation. So, not only is this a career ending situation is pretty much life ending for the common man so how did not only stay out of prison not only stay out in the public but return to football a mere few months later well that information is incredibly hard to come by whether deliberately or just coincidence the details on the out of court settlement made with the victim's family is scarce on the internet he was initially sentenced to 21 months in prison um, but on, that was in 2016 february it's not only that it's five years to wait for the actual sentencing is an insane amount of time um, on top of that, it's an incredibly small punishment as well. So after out-of-court discussions with the victim's family, uh, it was actually changed to €61,000 uh, fine for the, obviously the victim's family and a driving ban for three years and four months, uh, which at the time of the article uh, was already spent. It was actually said that he, uh, he only got to pay the fine uh, rather than actually spend time in prison because it wasn't intentional, it was an accident, which is baffling because he was driving over double the speed limit and had, you know... Um, quite a lot of alcohol in a system, but hey-ho, I'm not a uh, a professional on the Spanish justice system, so whatever rocks your boat. Now, I know off the back of this, there have actually been a few law changes. There have been stricter drink driving rules. I don't think it was off the, the back of directly of this Marcus Alonso, but I think of a few in this, sort of the early 10s, 2010s, that said you know, a few sort of legislation has been put into place. But regardless, I want to know your thoughts on this, because it is it's such a mad situation that everyone knows about what happened back in the day. But the actual details are so scarce on the internet. It's also not like it's been shushed because obviously it's a bit. It's, it happened what twelve years ago now, so it's not exactly in anyone's best interest to keep it under wraps. I would have thought anyway. But it's just such a horrible situation. So let you let me know your thoughts in the, the comment section down below. Um, is there any other topics you want me to cover similar uh, to this one? Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video regardless, and I'll see you all very soon. Take care, guys. God bless. Bye bye.